Michigan's latest environmental mystery involves a dead wolf, a criminal investigation, and a long-standing political debate. Here's what's been going on. A hunter said that he shot a wolf hundreds of miles south of the Upper Peninsula border after mistaking it for a coyote. The animal that he shot was 84 pounds, and the average coyote weighs less than 40 pounds. So state officials took DNA samples, which confirmed that this animal was indeed a Great Lakes wolf. That makes killing it a federal offense. Wolves are an endangered species in Michigan, and there are only about 630 of them all in the Upper Peninsula. They haven't existed in southern Michigan for more than a century. The wolf that was killed in January was down here in Calhoun County, which is why investigators had questions. How did a wolf from the Northwood end up in the southern Lower Peninsula? So to get all the way from here to there, a wolf would have to either go this way, which would involve crossing the four mile wide Straits of Mackinac that have not frozen over in the past two winters, or go around by land, which could involve coming through some pretty highly populated areas, Milwaukee, Chicago, Gary, Indiana, Toledo. And therein lies the mystery. Making things weirder, the animal had a wound on its front paw consistent with having been trapped. That could mean that humans relocated it from the Upper Peninsula. But the recent wolf kill in southern Michigan has reignited a long-standing debate in Michigan about whether the state should legalize wolf hunting. On the one side are some Republican lawmakers and UP residents who argue that there are now too many wolves in the state and they've become a nuisance. On the other side are wolf advocates who argue that incidents like this one underscore the need for continued wolf protections. The investigation is still going on, so follow us here for updates.